Trying to lift his daughter's spirits definitely keeps Manny on his toes. Molly hasn't spoken since she lost her mother. But that doesn't bother the new housekeeper. Really, Molly, what would you like to have? Well, I think I'd like some buckwheat cakes with some syrup and two eggs. Yes! Karina's perfect, just a little offbeat. <sighs> Molly's crazy about it, and as it turns out, so is Manny. The sparks will fly. I made a slight boo-boo, so you don't need to tell your father. Of course you wouldn't, because you don't talk. You're the short, silent type. <laughs> Just stay away, Karina. You're fired. A heartwarming new comedy. Hello? Yes, hold on, please. Hello. It's for you. Starring Academy Award winner Whoopi Goldberg and Ray Liotta. A romantic comedy comedy, Corina Corina. It's seven films later. The actors are assembled. Stop. The effects artists are hard at work. Good, more blood. More blood. Wes Craven is making a new Nightmare on Elm Street. And cut. Burn it that, Gretchen. But this time, the world he's creating seems to be coming true. No! <laughs> Decided to cross over. Freddy Krueger returns. Out of films into our reality. And he wants more than revenge. Why don't you tell me about your dream? <laughs> Miss me? He wants life. Nancy. It's giving me Freddy nightmares. Freddy? As in me? Is it a movie? How would you like to be in the definitive Nightmare on Elm Street? I thought you killed Freddy off. One, two, Freddy's coming for you. <laughs> Until mommy gets back, don't fall asleep. Is it a dream? Oh! Oh! Or is it real? Ah! Ever play skin the cat? For everyone who ever believed Freddy's dead, prepare yourselves. I'm gonna eat you up for the real story. Wes Craven's this story, the story for a movie. New nightmare. It's your maker. Ricky Coogan, Brat Pack Sleeve Bag. <laughs> Elijah C. Scuggs, Freak Show Tycoon, an amateur bioengineer. I can look at a guy like Kevin Costner and see a giant peach grub. When fate brought them together, Mr. Scuggs took an average Hollywood <laughs> slime ball and made something out of him. <laughs> oh, God! This was my good! 20th Century Fox presents Freaked. It's about friendship. I thought I told you to shut up! Loyalty. I say we kill him. Life's big questions. How many feminists does it take to screw in a light bulb? No show business. The public does not want to see disgusting, depraved, violent Bill. And I suppose Jake and the fat man was just a fluke. It's about state-of-the-art technology. It's about Mr. T is the bearded lady. I am woman. Now, like me. It's about Bobcat Goldthwait as a sock. It's the end of the world! The apocalypse! Ah! It'll make you laugh. It'll make you cry. <laughs> and it'll make a cold sore that you thought had healed up start bugging you again. <laughs> it's the kind of film Brooke Shields has always wanted to do. Oh. Introducing Larry Bud Melman as the President of the United States. What's the matter? Trade of a little rock star. In Freaked, coming soon to a uh, theater. Freaked, but ugly, but funny. Yeah. Welcome to show business, morons. 
and who are the bad guys, huh, Doc? My cybernauts are not perfect. Now, I want the Terminal Force Project aborted. Authority threatens our self-preservation. Authority is corrupt. Created to obey. Forced to rebel. Now, they are a law unto themselves. Why did you stay? It seems to me the created disobeying its creator is the first step towards disorder. He is now your new partner. I hate robots. Why does it make so many strange noises? Because it's 30 years old. Perhaps you should consider replacing it. And perhaps you should consider kissing my butt. No! If we apprehend Terminal Force, what will happen to them? We're going to break them down and turn them into electric razors. Actually, that would not be an efficient use of robotic resources. The dick, Charlie, come here. She's one of them. They were created to make beds and take out the trash, not carry automatic weapons. Neutralize the law. We will crush the law. your future there once was a place that offered so much promise people gave up everything to stake their claim that was the dream home sweet home this is the reality what the hell take 10 paces oh i i i, I couldn't really i'm like no i'm anti-handgun and they knew there was only one thing for them to do uh, go back where they came from. Good luck. I said you're a bunch of yellow-bellied eastern sissies. Now why don't you go back and leave the west to the real men? Oh, Butch, get over yourself. All they needed was someone to lead them. Let's get ourselves a wagon master and go home. Who they got was James T. Harlow. Why doesn't that reassure me? We leave at dawn. Noonish. Wagons! East! Buckle up. I can't believe you're making me wear seatbelts. Along the way, they would encounter danger. The name's Slade. Oh, please, that is so Dodge City. Happy Valentine's Day. Experience passion. Maybe you'd like to come to my wagon tonight and we can talk. And discover secrets. His wagon master for a certain party going to California. The Donner Party? Let's just keep that to ourselves. Whoever said going east was easy. Tri-Star Pictures presents John Candy. Uh -huh. Richard Lewis. You got a problem there, mister? Uh, yeah, these are my cows. You see, they say Phil's cow. When the going gets tough. Uh-oh. I'm calling in the cavalry. Richard. All right, then, let's kill some people. The tough. Stay put. The rest go east. You're going the wrong way. Wagons east. Are we there yet? I will have your mother turn this wagon around right now. It has been buried for thousands of years. A mystery. A secret. A threshold to the future. Where'd you find this? I've, I've never seen anything like this. One man will break the code and open the door. Well, I should read Stargate. That was in front of us the whole time. 
The other will lead the way. Why are you here? I'm here in case you succeed. Jackson's identify the seventh symbol. Backup storage, reserve power, on. What is that? It's your stargate. We've opened a doorway to a world we know nothing about. The has locked itself onto a point somewhere in the Kalium galaxy. It's on the other side of the known universe. Your turn now. They prepared for danger. Begin final evacuation. They expected the unknown. Stabilizing system. Initiated commencement sequence. But they could never have imagined this. Shoot anything that comes down that ramp. Your job here is to realign the Stargate. Can you do that or not? I can't. What the hell is going on? My orders were simple. Track down signs of any possible danger. Well, I found some. I can't make it work without the seven symbol. <laughs> got seven minutes. Now, the most amazing discovery of our time... Jackson, wait for me. ...is about to become the most extraordinary adventure of all time. Kurt Russell, James Spader, Jay Davidson. Stargate. A Roland Emmerich film. Ladies and gentlemen, you've heard all the evidence. I submit that this was not a hot-blooded crime of passion. Consider this. A revolver holds six bullets, not eight. That means that he fired the gun empty and then stopped to reload. By the power vested in me by the state of Maine, I hereby order you to serve two life sentences back to back, one for each of your victims. So be it. send you here for life that's exactly what they take i believe in two things discipline help me John! and the bible here you'll receive both and he came to shawshank prison in 1947 why'd you do it i didn't since you asked <laughs> you can fit right in i must admit i didn't think much of Andy the first time i laid eyes on him he had a quiet way about him walk and a talk that just wasn't normal around here. There are places in the world that aren't made out of stone. There's something inside they can't touch. What are you talking about? Hope. Let me tell you something, my friend. Hope is a dangerous thing. Damn it, new friend, you're putting me behind. Hope can drive a man insane. You better be sick or dead in there, I shit you not. Better get used to that idea. Oh my holy God. I guess it comes down to a simple choice, really. Get busy living. You get busy dying. Get busy living. Or get busy dying. That's damn right. of all of us in the mangler.
It's only the smallest shaft of light, but it's all you've got. <laughs> all you've got to distinguish one day from another. All you've got to remind you that the world still exists. All you've got to keep you from losing your mind. motion picture inspired by the true story of Henry Young. He was the only man strong enough to survive three years of solitary confinement at Alcatraz. And his lawyer was the only man brave enough. This case is much more about you than him. He has no future to take on the brutal system that kept him there. Christian Slater. Are you, Mr. Young, guilty of the murder of Rufus McCain? Kevin Bacon. I was a weapon. Well, I am no killer. And Gary Oldman. For every action, there is a definite and distinct reaction. One broke the silence. The other broke the system. I point to the associate warden, Mr. Glenn, the warden, Mr. Humpson, and the institution known as Alcatraz, and say, I accuse, I accuse Alcatraz of the torture of Henry Young. Murder in the first. Detectives Fred Lavery and Sheila Kingston. Sorry, I'm late. The two straightest cops in L.A. I gotta get a bikini wax. Yeah, just stop telling me about that disgusting female stuff. Are about to be thrown a curve. I need you to go undercover to a, a island resort. It's a place for S&M, and 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 &M. and s They're going undercover to pursue an international smuggling ring. Here's some bondage magazines to study up on. In the last place on Earth these two should ever go. Welcome to Eden Island, where your fantasy is our pleasure. I'm here to make your body tingle. What is that so? Our headmistress of Eden, Mistress Lisa. Do your parents know you do this? Man, oh man, what a bunch of oddballs. It's against their principles. Hey! No panting after 2 a.m. It's against their policy. <laughs> now that is something I would not have been capable of. And against their grain. Lucy? Oh, sorry. Why don't you go lay in front of the door and you can play guard boy? This pleasure island is starting to get to me. They're talking about you all over the island. Get out of here. Hi there, big boy. But if they're going to crack this case, Ow. they may have to flash more than their badges. Like Elvis goes to hell. From the director of Pretty Woman. I know we got to solve this case soon because hanging around here, I am so horny. Dana Delaney, Paul Mercurio, Rosie O'Donnell, Dan Aykroyd, in a Gary Marshall film. Get off of me! Whoa. Well, uh, pardon me. Wow. She's trying to kill me, you idiot! Cuff her! I don't have any cuffs! We're the only two people on the island without handcuffs! Exit to Eden. How can I fulfill your fantasy? Go paint my house. <laughs>